Hello and welcome to another Blender Know How tutorial. In this video we are going to create this texture uh, for bricks and it's procedurally generated so it should work on most uh, anything that you want to create. So brick walls, brick grounds, whatever you'd like. And we're also going to try and add some of this variation. So yeah, let's, let's dive right into it. Open up a brand new Blender scene and uh, just keep the default cube. I'm going to use the camera for some of this, and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, get most of that in there, maybe even a little bit closer, something like that. And uh, so I just did that by hitting the G and the middle mouse button, click and hold going up like this, and you can lock it to the axis. Let's open up a brand new view here by just clicking on the little, there used to be a triangle there, but it's just like a little empty void, and dragging up, or you can just click on the shading up here. Uh, I prefer to like, I, I like more room like this and has it up. And then click on Shader Editor. I'm going to hit uh, N to get rid of this side panel because we won't need it. And then click on their cube and we can see that we already have a shader added for it. Uh, we're just going to jive right into it. Uh, a couple of these that I've I've tried doing a little bit and they went a little bit too long. So we're just going to go right into it. So Shift A, Add, and we're going to use a noise texture. This is how we're going to get some of our variation uh, in, into things. And we're going to also create a brick texture. Now, we are creating these two textures because first off, if we, color, if we put this color to color here, and we change this to here, this is Blender 2.8, uh, particularly this is the release candidate, but it should work with anything post-release candidate as well. So, should work great. Uh, yeah, just make sure the colors co uh, put into the base color here, and you can see that uh, this is uh, not right. Uh, let me make that a little smaller. We got we got good texture here, but nothing here. Uh, we can sort of fix it by adding Shift A, add a texture coordinate, and we can drag in generated. However, generated doesn't actually do anything because that's the default. But if we put in the UV into the vector, it does fix a little bit of it. However, it's not oriented the way. Uh, that I want at least. I want the t bricks to be this way. And we can fix this by just hitting tab and then hit U and Q projection. And you can see we have our bricks and they're oriented the way they should be. Okay, so that's the main of that. I'm just going to keep this here so I can still see it. Um, something like this. Uh, before we actually dive into that though, uh, let's grab our light and position our light close to this corner something like this so that we have a really highlight here and then we can see some yeah difference in this so that when we look around it we can see reflection because we're gonna get into that as well so make this big click on your cube and the main reason why we connected this noise texture is in the bricks there's that noise stucco fill looking thing so we can just create we can take this color and this is what it looks like it's colorful. Uh, we don't want that. We want to use the factor which looks like this. And if we crank it up to uh, around 300, it just looks like static on a TV. Which just so happens to be also the look of the depth map of brick. So we can use that. So we bring this base, or the color that we, the, the factor, and plug it into the color here. Give it a second. Oh, uh, actually, got to cut this color though. Give it a quick second, and if you zoom in on here, you can actually see that there is that texture applied. Uh, let's also plug that into this one as well. Now you can see that we just lost all of our variation in color, other than our noise. So a quick fix for this is to Shift A, add a color ramp and then choose your color that you want this to be here. Uh, I want this one to be a dark brownish. You can see we already are getting some stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave that actually. Uh, hit Shift D to duplicate it and do the same thing with the top one. You can actually minimize this. Uh, you could, we just got all our color the same now, but uh, come on here. I think I'm going to do some of that. Something like that. 
give it some variation in brick color. Uh, that's not exactly the colors of brick, but you know for these purposes that it's going to have to work. So I'm going to put those color ramps next to each other now. Okay, sweet. So now we are looking pretty good. Um, if we if we want to make it even a little bit better, we can probably connect this UV into the vector, and it will probably give it a little better look. However, so subtle you can't even tell, so it doesn't really matter. So now let's take this mortar, the black stuff right now, and change it to white, because that's what color mortar is in between the text or between the bricks. And let's add another noise texture and plug the factor into the mortar smooth. Now the mortar smooth will create um, well if it dis disconnect this, it is how smooth the mortar is. So if we just try take the factor and plug it in there, it will randomly, because noise is very random, create smooth spots and jagged spots. And you can kind of see that as you drag this up. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can kind of see it. It's not so straight anymore, which is great. Uh, and then we're going to add a color ramp in here as well. Now the reason why we're doing this is we are going to drag these and it will create contrast. We're taking data out of it which actually creates contrast. So we let's narrow the black and white and you can see that we start to get uh, yeah, it's beginning to actually look like what it should. The, the variation that's randomly created from the noise texture is doing this. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, may not look perfect, but you know, gonna work for now. Sweet. So now that we have that, I'm gonna start by adding a, a mix here because there's gonna be some stuff that we're gonna want to mix. Uh, you might not do this actually in order like this if you were just to think about shading, um, but for right now, this will make more sense in the tutorial. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to add in, uh, yeah, let's actually, before we do that, let's just plug the color into the roughness here. So now essentially what we're doing is we're taking the color, and we also, we just want to make it into the roughness. Uh, however, the color from this, uh, is it needs to be values instead of colors, although it can convert it. Uh, but let's just help it out by doing an RGB to black and white. And we plug in here, probably not much will happen, but uh, we can help it out a little bit. And if we uh, invert, this gives us a couple, a little bit of control here. If we, you can see a little bit of the difference between that uh, reflectivity. So if we come here, you can see the reflectivity on the white and black. If we do the opposite, it's on the bricks. Uh, we don't want it, we want it more. Bricks are very uh, not reflective, and I guess neither is this, and we'll, we'll fix that a little bit later as well, but as for right now, that's what we're gonna go with. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some more noise, and this noise is going to be like where the wall is like broken into. And in essence. Uh, so let's start by creating a noise. And you might notice we're doing a lot of noise and that, that that's true, we are doing a lot of noise. And for good reason, there is a lot of power in the noise texture. So let's connect this, uh, f let's do factor into the factor here. Now the reason why it was so Y out last time was because it was just connecting this white, which we want to be even wider. Um, it was just mixing it. And we don't want it to just mix. We want it to mix in the noise areas. So, if we notice, we can actually take this and the noise that we create here will be where the white is. And so let's actually, let's start by turning this one up to like 30-ish. And then let's throw a color ramp on it. This will allow us to do our uh, contrast again. And so we can kind of cut into that and give it some more.
contrast like this. Um, actually, yeah, look more like that. Get some more white out there. So what we want to do is we want to create this so that the mortar looks like it's kind of going into the brick. You know, sometimes like it does. It does that if you look on the photos online, and if you go outside at your brick house or whatever you got for brick, it does that. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to create. Uh, let's duplicate this noise texture, and I'm going to just plug this to four, uh, just because I happen to know that that's what works right now. I'm going to do a mix RGB, and I'm going to plug in the factor into the factor and factor into the color. Give it a quick second, and there we go. So now what we're doing here is we're creating big blocks. So I typed in four, but I didn't really actually like it. But 3.7 for me looks pretty good. You can plug in whatever number that you like here, but you're going to want some big areas. So play with it till you get some bigger areas. This is going to be where brick is missing practically, or like someone looked like they just took a sledgehammer to it. And uh, yeah, that's going to be good there. So another thing we're going to do is we want that contrast again. So I'm going to plug in a color ramp into the factor line here. The factor to factor, not factor to color. And if we decrease this, we can have more control between what side has that. However, it's because we have mix. So let's turn on to add. And give it a quick second. And this will allow us, for instance, right now it looks super blown out. Our whole brick wall is smashed to pieces. But if we decrease this, or I guess increase the black, we can tell it exactly how much of the big pieces this noise texture we want in there. I think that's looking pretty good. We have some big pieces, and, and maybe I, I actually want to play with this a little bit something in here maybe I want to decrease that a little bit get it get it somewhere to your liking and then uh, yeah we'll move on here and you can play with those as well oh, don't go past that or else you'll get opposite effects sweet so now what we're going to do is we need to create depth because we actually are looking pretty good we're, we, this looks like it's, it's coming from this and it uh, yeah should look fairly well. So we need to create what's called displacement, which I'm going to make this small. Whoa, that was a lot bigger than I was hoping. Uh, I guess I'll leave it big because it didn't really affect that too much. Uh, we're going to create displacement. And we need a displacement node. So you can just type that in. Displacement. Plug it into the displacement. And we're going to need, uh, because if you look here, our input is a normal. So we're going to need uh, a normal map and we're going to want to plug that in there and then we can try plugging in this invert also into the color because we can reuse this. Uh, this information should work just fine for this normal map because we want the white stuff to be the stuff that stands out or, or actually goes into the wall. That should be what's smashed. Uh, okay so it's looking pretty good only we're getting some weird stuff here. If we increase our strength here, not much will happen right now. Put it at 1.1. I think you'll I think that will be what we'll want. And then increase your height because it'll be 0 at the time at the time. Uh just increase it a little bit. You don't need to be super high, but just increase it. And one last thing, we're going to add a mix RGB and throw it in here. This is our last thing that I think we're going to have to do. And we're just going to uh, connect this color into um, this color. So this one should be our top. Coming from the color ramp should be our top. We'll get some weird artifacts here. We can just get this factor to our liking of where this is pretty much our adjustment now of how much displacement we want it to affect. 
Oh, actually I realized why this isn't working the way I was hoping to. <laughs> it's because we have this on mix. Uh, I need to change it to add. Uh, yeah, because this we want we want this to add to this, not mix. Uh, so now if you drag this up, you'll get more stuff. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. So if you have this all the way down to zero, we'll get the white, and that won't ever disappear. However, you can increase it to get more stuff. Uh, and we're going to want it to be as close to getting all this stuff. Um, yeah, something like this. However, we're still... This isn't looking right. And I think it's because of this. We need to change this to object space. So the normal map needs to be object space. And we should get some better effects here. Okay, yeah, we're getting way a lot of effects. Okay, I'm going to decrease this down here. So we get some brick texture, but not as much as we were. And you can tell we're already getting ooh, pretty good results, honestly. Uh, we can come over here and play with some of these again. Oh, that's what we need right there. That's what I want. Okay, so this color ramp needs to have the white all the way over. So we get full depth, or else you're going to get blown out. Yep, and then you can play with some of that right there. Oh yeah, I think that's looking pretty darn good. So overview should look like this when you're done, or something like that. Uh, let's just, I'm just going to give you this, the node network. So you can screenshot this as we go across, or whatever you want to do. So essentially, we have texture coordinate, noise texture, color ramp, color ramp, brick texture. We have the noise texture connected to the color ramp into the mortar smooth. Down here, and then there, this is going to go to the mix as well. So brick texture to mix. Then we have two noise textures, color ramp, add, color ramp. That go into the into the mix. Then the last section we have RGB to black and white, invert to roughness, uh, this color ramp to add, normal, displacement, displacement, and then the mix straight into the base color. Thank you for watching this Blender know-how tutorial. Hopefully uh, it helps a little bit into some of the advanced shading and uh, go have fun with it, get some creative and uh, post questions in the comments below and we'll see you next time on Blender Know How. Thanks, bye.